So hello students, this is uh, Shubh Brota Boshak from Power Electronics Laboratory of Department of Electronic Systems Engineering at Indian Institute of Science. And it is already uh, 7 p.m. Uh, I would like to start this session by apologizing because I won't be able to take class on 27th uh, because of uh, some unavoidable circumstances. My father is not doing well, so I need to go for uh, a surgery. He needs to go for a surgery and I need to go back home. So I was, I am not able to take class on 27th and it has been rescheduled today so i'm i'm aware that uh, it's difficult for you to know this fact so the, so the attendance is zero today i can understand that so nonetheless let us let us, uh, let us uh, solve a few sums which i planned for the session and i i thought of discussing a few concepts today but as the attendance is very low uh, nobody has joined the session it won't be possible for me to discuss all those concepts or ask you questions regarding those concepts. So the only thing that I'm, I, I would be doing uh, in this session is solving uh, two questions which we regularly do in these sessions. And uh, I will stop the session after we have solved the two questions that I have uh, already uh, solved in my slides. So without any further delay, let us start and uh, you know uh, try to solve the questions which appeared in GATE examination in the recent past. So the first question is, I'm trying to share my screen. I hope uh, the screen is visible to you. Uh, now let me okay. So the first question for today is a uh, question on control systems. So a state, a state space equation has been given to us, which is shown on this slide. You can see x dot, x1 dot, x2 dot is this uh, state matrix, which is equal to minus 2, 0, 0, minus 1. x1 and x2 are the states and u is the input. The initial conditions x1 at t equal to 0 are given and x2 at t equal to 0 are given. This two information is needed to find out the uh, state at a certain after a certain period of time and the output equation has been given as y equal to 1 0 x1 x2 and you are asked to find uh, the response y of t to the system uh, response of the system uh, y of t to the unit step input four options are given to you as you can see on the screen a b c and d is half minus half e to the power minus 2t e to the power minus 2t minus e to the power minus t b is 1 minus half e to the power minus 2t minus half e to the power minus t and d is 1 minus e to the power minus t i would request you whenever you are going to watch the session just you know take few minutes of time for yourself and try to solve it and as uh, i am solving it without any student in the session uh, i would you know give a pause for 5 minutes and this would give you time to solve it whenever you would be watching this uh, lecture if at all you watch it so let me pause for a few minutes and give you time to solve the question
so students uh, i gave you 5 minutes time to solve it on your own i hope whenever you would be watching the video you would be utilizing this uh, time for pause uh, as your solving time for the question so now let us go ahead and discuss the solution for it and how would you approach the sum when this kind of a sum appears in your exam so the first step that you need to do is write you know the matrices a b and c from the standard state space equation so let us first see how to get that so you see the equation that has been given to us is written on this slide and the standard form of state space equation are written on the right hand side of the slide so the uh, the a matrix which is indicated in which is marked in uh, red ink is indicated on the left hand side by red ink also and the b matrix which is indicated by blue ink is indicated on the left hand side with blue ink too and the c matrix is also which is indicated in green in the right hand side is also indicated in green on the left hand side of the slide so comparing these equations 1 2 3 and 4 we can find the a b and c matrix so a matrix is a 2 cross 2 matrix having the elements minus 2 0 and 0 minus 1 as you can see on this slide and the b matrix is a column matrix having elements 1 and 1 c matrix is a row matrix having elements 1 and 0 having done that now let us look at the state transition matrix okay so i have rewritten the information that we have found out in the previous slide uh, writing down the a b and c matrix over here now the state transition matrix the laplace transform of the state transition matrix that is psi of s is given by si minus a whole inverse now uh, why is it called a state transition matrix because this transition matrix gives us information about the evolution of state of the state variables that is x1 and x2 with time so that is why it is called a state transition matrix that is how is the state transitioning or ev evolving with time so the state transition matrix the laplace transform of the state transition matrix is given by si minus a whole inverse i mean the inverse of si minus a where i is the identity matrix of dimension same as a so if we perform this operation what we get is s plus a as the first element 0 0 and s plus 1 and the inverse of it so if we compute the inverse these two elements gets interchanged and this remains the same as negative sign of this is 0 itself so what is this delta delta is the determinant of this matrix which is s plus 1 into s plus 2 s plus 1 into s plus 2 okay so that is how we find this state transition matrix having found the state transition matrix i mean the laplace transform of the state transition matrix now let us attempt to find the transfer function of the system that has been given to us so we know that the laplace transform of the output to the laplace transform of the input is given by c phi of s into b so if you do this operation as I have done step by step in the following uh, steps that is I have replaced C with the corresponding elements that the C matrix has and I have replaced psi of S which is the Laplace transform of the state transition matrix with 1 by delta S plus 1 S plus 2 and 0 0 on the diagonals on the right diagonal and the B matrix is replaced with 1 and 1 the column matrix so I have replaced each elements uh, I replaced the uh, matrices with their corresponding elements and now if I do this operation what we end up getting is s plus 1 divided by delta now what is this delta we have seen in the previous slide delta is s plus 1 into s plus 2 so s plus 1 in the denominator and the numerator cancels out and you are left only with 1 divided by s plus 2 now to find the unit step response what do we need to find is y of s when e of s is 1 by s so what we do is y of s is equal to 1 divided by s into s plus 2. Now if I break in break this term in partial fractions, it turns out to be 1 divided by 2s minus 1 divided by 2 into s plus 2. Now what we are going to do is we are going to take the inverse Laplace of this expression and we get y of t equal to half minus half e to the power minus 2t ut. So the current option is a. So this is 
one way of doing the problem of solving the problem which has been asked in the gate examination i hope you have understood you would be understanding the uh, process which i have shown step by step in the slides so that would be the end of the first question which i plan to you know uh, display before you or illustrate before you now let us move on to the second question okay the second question is displayed on the slide it is a 2013 gate question and it is again the same you know state equation which has been given to you which is x1 dot x2 dot is the state matrix which is equal to minus 2 0 0 minus 1 they are the elements of matrix a and x1 x2 are the again the state matrix and u is the input to the system the initial conditions x1 of 0 and x2 of 0 uh, is said to be equal to 0 that is the initial conditions of the system is 0 and the output equation is given by 1 0 which is a row matrix into x1 x2 which is a state matrix what we what you need to find out is whether the system is controllable or observable so the four options has been given to you so there are the options are controllable but not observable not controllable but observable both controllable and observable both not controllable and not observable so from these four options you need to choose which would be the right option so let us go ahead and uh, try to you know uh, so let me pause for five minutes to you know uh, to let you solve the question whenever you watch this video uh, so let us wait for you know yeah get a pause for five minutes and uh, you know whenever you would watch i would hope that in these five minutes you would utilize these five minutes to no, in trying to solve the question. Okay, so three minutes or I mean uh, four minutes are up. Maybe uh, that would be enough time for you to try the question. So let us go ahead and see the solution for the question. So 
as I have said it in the previous question too, you need to first identify the A, B and C matrix from the state equations that has been given to us. So the state equations which has been given to us in the question is written on the left hand side of the slide and you can see uh, that uh, the A matrix which is indicated in red ink is also indicated in red ink on the right hand side of the slide. Again the B matrix which is indicated in blue ink on the right hand side of the slide is also indicated in blue ink on the left hand side of the slide and the C matrix which is indicated in green ink is also indicated green ink, in green ink on the right hand side of the slide. So if you compare 1, 2 and 3, 1, 2, 3 and 4, these 4 equations if you compare you can find A, B and C matrix which turns out to be A matrix which is a 2 cross 2 matrix having elements minus 2, 0, 0 and minus 1. B is a column matrix having elements 1 and 1 and C is a row matrix having elements 1 and 0. So to do the controllability test, we need to use the, you know, the, the Kalman test which is conventionally used. You need to find the controllability matrix which has the elements B and AB as two of its column as you can see on the screen. So the first uh, column would be the B uh, matrix. So you have seen in the previous slide that the B matrix is a column matrix having elements 1 and 1 and the matrix A and B if you compute this up if you do this operation you are going to get a column matrix having elements minus 2 and 1. Now what we can do is we can find the determinant of it. If we find the determinant what would be the value of the determinant that is nothing but 1 minus of minus 2 that is 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3. So we can as a determinant is not equal to 0 what we can conclude is that the rank of the controllability matrix is equal to 2 which is equal to the order of the system and hence the system is controllable. Having understood that the system is controllable now let us check for the observability of the system. To find observability I mean to test the observability of the matrix what we need to do is again find the observability matrix which is defined as you know uh, matrix having C and C into A multiplication of C and A matrix as its rows. So what is a C matrix you have seen in the previous slide C is a row matrix having elements 1 and 0 and what is C into A that would be minus 2 and 0. So this would be your observability matrix. Now again let us find the determinant of the observability matrix. What would be the determinant of the observability matrix that is 1 into 0 minus of 2 into 0. So that is 0. So we can say that the determinant of observability matrix is 0. Therefore rank cannot be equal to 2 and hence the system is not observable as the order of the system is not equal to the rank of the observability matrix. So the correct option is A which is the system is controllable but not observable. So these are the two questions I, I wanted to demonstrate before you and I hope that whenever you watch the video you would be trying to solve the question by yourself and I hope that you do it correctly. This would be my last class, today would be my last class and the session and the series of uh, video clips and the classes that we have taken uh, throughout, this, uh, throughout, the, throughout this entire session uh, would come to an end because uh, the GET examination is approaching. I wish you all the best for the exam and I hope, I sincerely hope that you would perform very well in the GATE examination and I hope that we would definitely meet at IISC after you clear GATE and you know, you take an admission over there. So best of luck and best wishes from my side. I hope that you perform uh, good in the exam and that would be all from my side. I know there are several requests from the students. Uh, from uh, I mean asking me to teach the IGBT switching characteristics and other devices uh, VI characteristics switching characteristics but I know but, but you know you, you, we have certain you know, restrictions there are several uh, you know we have certain you know, work to do so the time I mean I do not have enough time to do that I couldn't find enough time uh, for, for, for doing that I hope uh, if I find some time in future I would be recording some video and would be sharing with you. I hope that would be helpful to you. 
so thank you very much i would uh, put the class to an end now and best wishes for all your examinations i wish you perform very well thank you very much